so ladies and gentlemen here we are once again oh wait a minute scratch that nix it erase it from the record just the ladies this time congratulations a huge huge congratulations to cd project red the undisputed champions of bug riddle launches for leveling up in the how to alienate half your audience game the same company that gave us Cyberpunk 2077, aka the glitchiest masterpiece to ever grace our consoles, is back with a new way to crash and burn. This time, they're not just deleting NPCs, they're deleting boys from the future of game development. Yep, they've launched a shiny new scholarship that just happened to have a double x chromosome uh equality progress no boys allowed next time they patch the game maybe they'll remove men all together on the girls that play website cd project red announced the fourth edition of the scholarship and mentoring program is starting which creates a community of young women and game dev industry. The site states CD Projekt SA and the Per Blegble Educational Foundation announced the fourth edition of the scholarship and mentoring program for high school girls interested in video game industry. Online recruitment for the program begins on September 9th and will last until October 31st, 2024. All right, now let's unpack this gem, this absolute treasure of modern progress. CD Projekt Red, in their infinite wisdom, has decided to tackle gender inequality by Telling half the population to sit down and shut up. High school girls with a passion for gaming. Congratulations, you're in. High school boys, eh, better luck next time. Maybe in your next life. Because in this one, you're just too damn privileged for being a boy. To deserve a shot at a scholarship. It's kind of like how they handled Cyberpunk's launch. You know, big promises, even bigger glitches. Only this time, instead of deleting cars from the streets of Night City, they're deleting dudes from the future of gaming. Bravo. Just, just, just great. Not only do females get a year-long training program, but upon completion of the program, they also get access to the alumni group, a community of over 40 graduates for whom CD Projekt Red organizes additional incentives or initiatives, such as dedicated workshops at the Women in Tech Summit. Now, people are going to say Project CD Red and companies in general, including Ubisoft as of late, they're going to tell you that this is all about empowering women. Sure, because nothing empowers anyone quite like telling everyone else to get lost. If underrepresentation is the issue, then throwing up a big no men allowed sign is totally the way to fix that. Absolutely genius. It's like solving the bugs in Cyberpunk by turning off half the game, which let's be real is kind of what they did in the first place. Oh, uh, then the success stories. They claim that 100% of the past graduates from this program are thrilled to be entering the gaming industry. No shit. No kidding. I'd love it. I'd be thrilled too if I were handed a job without competing against the other half of the population. What a shocker. When playing the field looks more like a red carpet for a select few. It's absolutely no wonder everyone's eager to join in. Next year, we'll probably see scholarships for cyber-enhanced female cats. Left-handed only, of course. After all, inclusivity means excluding as many people as possible. Isn't that right? Completely logical. So, well done, City Project Red. You've managed to redefine equality as let's just exclude all of the guys and pretend we're fixing something. Progress? Eh, sure. If progress means pushing one side off a cliff, 
to hoist the other up. Maybe next we'll get a new game mode in Cyberpunk 2077. The Exclusion Edition. Men, you get to just stay in the loading screen while all the women play and take over Night City. In the meantime, boys, don't bother. Don't bother going to companies like CD Projekt Red, Sony, Ubisoft, or any of those. No, learn to develop at home. Make your own thing. Get you and a bunch of buddies together and make your own game. Because in all honesty, you're probably better off doing that. And hey, maybe, just maybe, if you want to wait for CD Projekt Red to open its doors back to back up to you, another... 10, 50, 100 years, maybe they'll offer a scholarship for guys who got thrown out of the game industry but still want to code for some reason. Until then, fellas, I wouldn't hold your breath. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you're not already banned from the internet for being a guy,